Hi, welcome to the Spirituality Channel on Vlogatorial. My name is Elizabeth Ann Atkins, and I want to talk to you today about how to liberate your mind, body, and spirit through meditation. I meditate every single day, and I've done so for the past four years or so, and it has changed my life in ways that sometimes I don't even believe. It's so incredible, and I encourage everybody I know to meditate. It's so unbelievably powerful on so many levels. So first, let me tell you about a few people who endorse it, because some people think meditation is like this mamby-pamby thing, but it's so incredible. Um, I was actually writing about it recently, and I heard when you meditate, you get this guidance. And I heard, go turn on Oprah. It was Super Soul Sunday. And Russell Simmons was on the hip hop mogul talking about meditation and how he meditates and does yoga every single day, no matter where he is. It comes before business meetings. It comes before whatever he has to do. And of course, Oprah endorses meditation. She meditates and she um, was praising the virtues of this very empowering practice. Another person who endorses it is Phil Jackson, who's the former coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. And I didn't know this until I started reading Eleven Rings, the, the Soul of Success. That's the book he wrote. Eleven Rings, The Soul of Success. And I literally got chills at the very beginning. He talks about how he got the Los Angeles Lakers to meditate and how it improved their game. So if some of the most praised, celebrated, incredible athletes in the whole wide world can meditate and have a better experience from it, then everyday people can do it too and have a positive result. So, I want to tell you why I did it, and I want to tell you some of the benefits of it that might encourage you to try it. First, because it's Independence Day week this week, Independence Day this week, um, I'm talking about independence. And when you meditate, it liberates you from the fears, the worries, the anxieties, that can plague your mind and make it difficult to make decisions. I found this so incredibly liberating when I discovered that when you meditate, you're literally handing over all this junk that's clogging your brain, your thoughts, to the divine, and they're empowering you with this new energy it infuses you to have this resolve and determination and discipline like I've never known. Creativity, productivity, clarity of thought. And it's literally taken away, cleansed me of some of my worst fears. Whether they're grounded in anything um, valid, we all have certain fears and worries. So now, if I'm really worried about something, I meditate and I ask for help. And sometimes the help is instant. The solutions, like ideas, will pop into your head on how to solve a certain problem. And it's so, oh, I can't even describe <laughs> how incredible it is. Whereas prior to that, I would just be this worry, this mess just constantly worried, playing out all the bad scenarios that could occur from this one particular problem. Whereas now, in a five-minute meditation, you can get answers. You can get guidance. You can get clarity. And you can get peace. Peace. In terms of fears that you might have carried with you throughout your life, um, those can be relieved by connecting with the divine through meditation and asking for help, asking for a healing. And from my meditation teacher, Lori Lipton, she told me that our souls are imprinted with traumas that may have occurred many generations ago. Therefore, we have no logical understanding of where they came from. 
yet if you go into meditation and ask for help in healing these traumas, you can actually remove that pain, that baggage, that issue from your being. This might sound far out if you don't meditate, if you're not familiar with this, but just let me tell you, it works. It really, really works, and I've done it. It takes work on a daily basis. Just like if you want to get fit physically, you have to work out. Same thing. You have to put in the time and the energy and the effort. But it's not as much effort as you might think, because once you get into the groove, you want to do it every day. It makes you feel so good and peaceful. So those 20 minutes in the morning that you might invest in your meditation practice are going to make the other 23 hours and 40 minutes of your day that much better, including better sleep. So that's your mind. Now, when we get to the body and the impact of meditation, you can read article after article about the benefits of meditation. But let me tell you, when I do it, my heart rate goes down into the 40s, beat, like 40 beats, 40 something beats per minute. My breathing becomes very slow. My body is so still. Because it, in a way you're detached from the physical. You're, <laughs> somebody asked me if I levitate. <laughs> no, you don't levitate physically. But you're, you're, you feel that your being, your spirit is levitating and connecting with this divine energy. <laughs> um, so when you connect with this divine energy, it has the power to heal you. And I've done it so many times that I believe it. I know it. It's not a question. I've had migraine headaches throughout my life. And there was one time in particular last winter when I went to a meeting downtown and my head hurt so bad, there's this throbbing, like behind your eye, throbbing, oh my goodness, and it hurts so bad you wanna throw up, makes you nauseous, you become really sensitive to light, any smells like someone's perfume even that would smell good otherwise, it just makes you wanna heave. And so I was like that. So I left this meeting, I got to my car and there was a snowstorm and I'm driving and I use the technique that my teacher taught me to heal and you connect with Archangel Raphael and you ask please heal me and I swear almost instantaneously as I was driving through the snowstorm and I wanted to cry from the pain it was relieved it was relieved and I kept driving and I went home and I meditated on the couch to continue and you know further it where I was sitting still and not having to pay attention to driving. And I got these instructions. Not only did the pain subside, but the instructions that I received were have some chamomile tea, take a shower and go to sleep. Guess what? I did all of that and the headache was gone. Gone. I used to have to take all kinds of prescription medications that may or may not work and may or may not make the headache go away for good. This did with no medication. I had a similar experience a few winters ago when I did something to my lower back at the gym. I was doing the same routine that I've done for years and years, but something really hurt my lower back to the point that I could not get out of bed that morning. I mean, it hurt just to try and roll over. I, I'd never experienced anything like it. But it was, I couldn't believe it. Like I couldn't move. So I finally somehow painfully got up and the rest of the day was excruciating. And then I meditated and I used this technique and the pain stopped. It went away. <laughs> the pain went away. And so you know what, and in the course of that, I had taken an over-the-counter painkiller. It did nothing. Nothing. So, I just want to convince you to try meditation for all of these tremendous benefits. And then in terms of spirit, 
what it does is liberates you to know what your soul purpose is. The more you do it and the more you connect and the more you believe and trust it, the more information you will receive. And so it tells you, I mean, a lot of people don't know what their purpose is or what they're supposed to be doing or even what their passion is. They may not have discovered that yet. And so in meditation, you can receive this guidance on what is your life purpose? What is your mission? What is your assignment in this lifetime? And it becomes more and more clear. Like say you're a writer, well, what am I supposed to write? You'll get, you'll get guidance on what to write, how to write it, when to write it. You'll get information. You'll get create, creative bursts, this inspiration, this discipline to actually sit down and do it. And so what's different is that this energy will seem to come out of nowhere and it won't feel like it's coming from you. It's coming from this higher source because it's new. It wasn't there before. It's so powerful. I experienced it last year when I was writing my uh, trilogy, Husbands Incorporated. I had so much energy, so much clarity, so much creativity. It was, it was a mind-blowing experience. So I hope that I have convinced you to try meditation and stick with it and do it every single day and get a teacher who can show you how to try different techniques that will enable you to connect with the divine and liberate your mind, your body, and your spirits.